I've been getting a lot of questions. How do I use multiple time frames to help me identify whether the trade is going to be good or bad, or how do I use the multiple time frames in general? And this is what I'm going to share with you in this video. The first thing we need to understand that for intraday scalping, we do not use daily, weekly, or monthly time frames. These are too far apart. And we need to understand that the people who move the market, the big players, aka the institutions, hedge funds, these are the ones who move the market. Average retail trader just follows the institutions. We cannot move the market by ourselves. This is why we need to follow their footprints as close as we can get. This is why our main chart is the 2000 tick chart and I'm going to be using as a supportive chart the 5 minute chart. It is not too far in distance but it is close enough for me to, take, to make a valuable decision. Okay, And there are three main things that I look for when I analyze the 5 minute chart with the 2000 tick chart and the first is the most ideal one and there's basically a high probability setup confirmation. On the left side we have 2000 tick chart, on the right side we have a 5 minute chart. And as you guys can see on the left side, price is in a strong uptrend, price is above the EMA for the most part, and we just broke this resistance, price has created a breakout pullback pattern, two leg like move down, and we are at the key entry point, okay? I take a look at the five minute chart, and what do I see? I see that the price is in an uptrend, I see that we have a spike and a channel formation, and by the time I'm about to enter on the breakout pullback, two leg like pullback at the key entry point, I take a look at the five minute chart and I see that pr price form a new high. We have a first entry long felt and the second entry long is forming a big bullish bar off the key entry point. So this is basically a high probability setup confirmation. I have a second entry at the key entry point. I have a two legged pullback here after price created a break and a new low off the downtrend, which means downtrend played out. Okay, so these two patterns right now are working congruently. On another example, the same high probability setup confirmation. On the 2000 tick chart, we have a strong uptrend. Price is correcting, working lower. We have a break and a new low of the correction, which implies that the correction is over. And I have a nice second entry long of two key entry points. I take a glance at the five minute chart. And what do I see? I have a first entry long, pullback, second entry long, in an uptrend, spike and a channel pattern off the trend line. The pattern is too perfect and this is exactly what I would like to see ideally. It's not going to be like that every single time, but this is one of the best cases that you can feel really assured that you're taking the proper setup. 2000 tick chart on the top and a 5 minute chart at the bottom. Price is going to trading range. I have a 2000 tick chart and I have a proven support and a strong resistance and I see that I have a failed breakout above the resistance. Most breakouts of trading ranges will fail. I take a look at the five minute chart and what do I have on the five minute chart? Price creating a new low. I have a first entry short, pullback, second entry short, and price broke higher and pullback. I'm equally far away, away from EMA, which is a good sign, and I'm fading the breakout at both cases. This is a proving trading range and I'm selling the high as I'm supposed to. So perfect confluence of the time frames. As the price keeps going sideways in this trading range in this horrible mess, I have another failed breakout. The signal bar is not perfect, so I want to wait for a better one. I have a lower high setup that is more, better chance, has a better chance of succeeding. I take a look at a five minute chart. What do I have? Fell breakout, and I have an almost identical lower high setup. And I'm waiting for price to pull back into the trading range because most breakouts of trading ranges will fail. High probability setup confirmations, high probability setup confirmations. This happens rarely, but it is amazing how it can help you to filter the good trades that your analysis is spot on. Next example, 2000 tick chart on the left, 5 minute chart on the right. Price keeps working lower in this trading range and I see I have a first entry short, second entry short big bearish bar below the EMA coming from potential trend line but I'm not sure whether this trend line is correct. We may have just short term trend line right here and we, we are in the middle of the trading range. So I take a look at the 5 minute chart and what do I see? I see micro double bottom which resets the count and I have a first attempt by the bears to go low, pull back, second attempt by the bears to show the market we are below EMA. It is just a first break of this downtrend, so we are expecting a new low according to price action rules. And I'm taking this setup as it looks very similar, second entry short below EMA, and price action is working in my favor. Price action creates two legs to a new extreme, and look what I have on a 2000 tick chart. Strong push above the EMA and trend reversal, downtrend played out. As we are in an uptrend, I'm looking for second entry longs or failed second entry shorts. Price creates a new extreme, 
I have a first entry long, pullback, second entry long, above the EMA key entry point. I do not have the trend line yet. I take a look at the five minute chart because I want to see, am I too early or am I taking the proper setup? Price grades break new low, pushes strongly above the EMA and I have a first entry short, pullback, second entry short failure, big bullish bar off the EMA. So even though this is not a second entry long, just like on the 2000 tick chart, it is a high probability setup confirmation because this is a reversal pattern. Reversal pattern is characterized by two failed attempts in the previous trends direction. Previous trends direction was bearish. First attempt to go short, failed. Second attempt to go short, failed. Big bullish bar. High probability setup confirmation. It is the price action reacts the same way and I have a reversal pattern here. I have a second entry long here. Everything works in my favor. Another example. 2000 tick chart on the right. Price is in a strong uptrend. We're coming off the upper side of the trend line. So we're most likely going to go to the bottom of the trend line. I have a new low. I have a first entry short, second entry short, failure above the EMA. Nice bullish bar. Okay, reversal pattern. And we're in an uptrend. So I'm waiting for price to go higher and higher, right? I'm trying to go and buy high probability setups. I take a look at the five minute chart. I see new low. I see a big leg working higher break. Attempt to make a new high. Just first correction. Price pushes below EMA. It fails horribly. There is not enough bears to even close below EMA and we instantly reject prices and move higher. First entry short, pullback, second entry short, failure, big bullish bar. I'm entering above the EMA. This is what I want to see. A few minutes later, we have a new high, first entry long, second entry long of two key entry points. But we're going a little bit sideways, so let me check the five minute chart. I see a first entry long felt, second entry long above this nice inside bar. EMA is still confirming that blood bulls are buying above the EMA. This is what I want to see. We are waiting for a new high still. Perfect confirmation, perfect confirmation. The stop would have still survived because it is one tick below the signal bar, all right? Another way a five minute chart can help us identify a good entry is that we use it for bias confirmation because, and this is going to be a little bit harder to identify. It depends on the signal bars, but let's take a look at a 2000 tick chart. What do we see? We have a trend working higher. We're above the EMA. We have a nice trend line, EMA is pointing higher. We are looking for second entry longs. We have a micro double top right here, which resets the count. And you have a first entry long pullback, second entry long closing barely above the EMA. When I'm looking at this and I take a glance at the five minute chart, what do I see on a five minute chart? I see a trend working higher. I see a very nice fitting tight trend line. We're above the EMA. It's basically going to be the same. By the time you enter above this bar, the bar is already halfway up working on our way higher. So this is indicating to me that we are pushing above the EMA. There is a rejection and we're working on our way and we're getting very close to close inside of this trend line. So the bias continues being bullish. This one is a little bit tricky because this is still way too low. So it would be fairly hard for a lot of people to identify it, but it is there. However, this example is much more visible because we keep working higher. We create a new high. We have a first entry long, pull back second entry long at the key entry point, high probability setup. We take a look at the five minute chart. Trend line is clearly fitting. This is an uptrend. By the time you enter above this bar, you're already closing inside of this trend line and the bullish bias is being confirmed. So this is how you can use the five minute chart to help you confirm the bias and that you're nicely inside of this trend line, okay? The same thing happened right here. And this is a good example that we have a 2000 tick chart. We're clearly in a downtrend. Look at the key entry point of the trend line, how it's holding it reacting. A lot, of a lot of traders are going to be selling when we get a bounce of this trend line. You have a first entry short, second entry short, you have a break and a new high. So the uptrend played out. If you take a look at the five minute chart, you see a nicely fitting trend line. We're below EMA, we're working lower. By the time I'm entering below this bar, this big, uh, this bearish bar, look what I have. I have a confirmation of the trend line. I see a bearish rejection and this bar is starting to form. This is important that we didn't close outside of this trend line, it'll be close inside of this trend line and the bearish bar is forming. So the bias is confirmed and the bias is confirmed right here as well. Another example, this one is a little bit too congested, but I want to demonstrate you guys. So bear with me. You have a new high, you have a two legged pullback, second entry long. You have a trend and you're coming off the support and take a look on a five minute chart. We traded up higher into this trading range, which means we most likely going to break higher. We have a strong support. And here's the important part. We have a new low and we have a first entry short. Price is pushing above the EMA. Second entry short failing. And by the time you enter above this 
bullish bar. This bar is already, I checked it all the way above the EMA with big stim at the downside. This is a bullish reversal bar above the EMA. We're coming off the lows on our way to the other side of a trend line. Felt second entry short, reversal pattern, bias is confirming. We're coming off the lows and there's a trap to short to trap the people who go short and we're pushing above the EMA. Bias is confirmed right here as well. All right. We can actually use a five minute chart to help us not get trapped. And this is particularly a trade that I took. I treated it as a failed second entry long. This is the new high, first entry long, second entry long failure. If you take a look at a five minute chart, I should have done my due diligence better because we traded up higher into this trading range, which means most likely we're going to break higher. We have a strong proven support and look what we have here. Price get to the support an instant bullish rejection strong push above the ema take a look at all these tiny bars and all of these tiny bars are wiped out on just this one single big bar there is no way i'm supposed to go short right after the strong bullish momentum while this bearish bar is forming so this is how i got trapped here i wasn't paying attention to this because this is such a strong bullish rejection of the support we are above the ema this is a no-no shorting this price action right here i got trapped right here but it can nicely help you to identify the bullish momentum and how not to get trapped. Another example right here, and this is going to be particularly helpful for a lot of beginner traders who go, who are afraid to buy or sell the pullbacks in trends and they wait all the all the time and they finally decided to pull the trigger after the uptrend or downtrend played out. So pay attention right here. We have a spike and a channel pattern. We have a new high. We have a first entry long, second entry long at the key entry point. But take a look. There's a downtrend working lower, so the correction didn't play it out. We have a break and a new low. Now it's safe to go long. But look at this. Second entry at the key entry point, if you look at a five minute chart, you have a trend, break, new high, uptrend played out. You're miles away from the EMA and EMA acts as a magnet. It will pull prices closer to it. And you're basically going long while this bearish bar is forming somewhere around here. There is no way you're going to go long after all this uptrend played out and so far away from EMA. So this will help a lot of people who are afraid to buy when the trend is developing and they want to go long after all this move happened and it's already too late. It's time for a correction. All right. And you guys can actually see that price confirmed this trend line right here. But on a five minute chart, we have a nicely working downtrend. So we can actually identify the nicely fitting downtrend right here in order for us not to get trapped right here. Plus we have the resistance. All right. Another situation right here. Very similar. Very similar, we have an uptrend working higher on the 2000 tick chart and we have a two legged -like pullback at the key entry point. I decided to ignore the resistance, but if I take a look at the five minute chart, I have a spike and a channel pattern forming. I have a break attempt to make a new high. Look how far away you from EMA. We have a three big bearish dojis and I'm going along directly while these dojis are being formed far, far, far away from EMA. This is a no no and you can see it looks tempting right here a little bit but here it definitely doesn't look tempting and you want to stay away from this it's let the market breathe the correction will happen and high probability setups will follow all right and here's another example clear downtrend working lower trend line is fitting nicely we are below ema we have a first break of this downtrend and according to price action rules what's going to happen yes there's going to be most likely new low form after the new low is formed price will go either into correction or possibly straight up reverse in this instance we have a first entry short second entry short below ema looking extremely tempting and a lot of beginner traders let me tell you they've been watching all this time and you see these pullbacks 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 and they're afraid to sell all these pullbacks all the way up to here and while the market already does this and they're finally okay now i'm gonna jump in and now i'm gonna sell the market everybody has been selling so it's not gonna go without me this is going to be a trap and take a look on a five minute chart how it looks you have an upper trend line you have a lower trend line you have an overshoot of a downtrend an overshoot means that it will generate a lot of power to break the trend line on the other side or possibly straight up reverse plus shorten downtrend break new low you're far away from ema and you're going short while this horrible doji is being formed the shorting right here doesn't look so tempting don't it so this is how you can use a five minute chart especially to see if you're entering late this is really helpful to see if you're entering late and even to confirm the bias or the high probability setup. And I want to emphasize that 
the main chart that we use is 2000 tick chart okay the five minute chart is just a supportive chart and you can sneak in with a few good scalps on a 2000 tick chart even if the five minute chart is not looking ideal so always make sure to do your analysis on a 2000 tick chart but why we are using 2000 tick chart and not time based chart i made the video about this but in summary tick charts basically show us more details they are not constrained by the time interval like time based charts because on 2000 tick chart or basically any tick chart you can have a nice tool like a pullback correction played out second entry but on the time based chart the bar is still forming okay it cannot close because bar is still forming there's this time still ticking inside of this bar and you cannot see the details inside of the price action of course it will all evens out on additional time frames because the price action works on all time frames but it is just better while we are scalping to have to get as much of the details as we can okay so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video hopefully it was useful i'm going to see you guys in the next one take care everybody